two, one. Hello and welcome to the Fantasy Football Special on SNT. I'm your host Sam McCain here with Trevor Wilson. Today we will be talking about the top sleepers, top 10 wide receivers, and the top 10 running backs in fantasy football today. So Trevor, who are your three sleepers? You know, um, you, know we, you and me talked about this before the show and you weren't too happy about my choice of my, well, with one of my sleepers. Uh, Ty Montgomery, and Deshaun Watson, and then the one you're unhappy about, Corey Davis. Corey Davis is going to be a stud. Watch. I, I think he's, he's going to be a great player. I don't think he, he's, I don't think he's going to be as good as you're saying he's going to be. He's going to be good, trust me. He's but gonna be a stud. my sleepers are Devontae Adams. He's a great receiver. He's got great speed, and I think Aaron, Ro Aaron Ro he's going to develop as one of Aaron Rodgers' favorite targets. Jameis Winston has always really been underrated because Mariota's had been more successful recently. And Jonathan Stewart. This might come to a surprise, but I think Carolina's going to step up their run game this year. Uh, and Cam Newton and Jonathan Stewart will run the ball a lot more. So I think Stewart might get a lot more fantasy points this year than he did last year. So now we're going to go on the top 10 wide receivers. And here's who I have to say. Number one, Antonio Brown. That's pretty obvious. Number two, we have Julio Jones, another one that I think is pretty obvious. Number three is Odell Beckham Jr., another one pretty obvious. Number four is Mike Evans. Um, he's a bit underrated. Most Some people don't know who he is, but he's a really tall, uh, great catcher. He's kind of like Julio Jones. He can get both feet in bounds. He's a really talented player. Uh, A.J. Green, again, very similar to Mike Evans and Julio Jones. And I personally, I think A.J. Green is one of the best wide receivers I've ever seen. Number six, Amari Cooper, great speed. Um, he's going to be Derek Carr's favorite target this year. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is number seven. That one's another obvious one. He's been great. Doug Baldwin, number eight. Uh, Russell Wilson's favorite target. He should get a lot of targets this year. Michael Thomas, number nine. I think he'll be Drew Brees' favorite target, and I think he'll have a breakout year this year. Uh, and number 10, Des Bryant. I know last year he wasn't that good. Uh, Dak Prescott really didn't favor him as one of his targets, but I think Bryant will do pretty well, good this year. So, Trevor, who do you have in your top 10? Well, you have a few You have a few sophomores in there, Michael Thomas, and you have some sophomore running backs. In, well, I have some too, uh, two sophomore running backs. I have no, besides those two, Running backs, I have no players in their second year. Here's why. Last year, Todd Gurley, I drafted him in the first round. Great rookie year. He's kind of He was kind of like Ezekiel Elliott this year. Breakout star. Yeah, his sophomore year was not too well. Yeah, but what about your receivers? What about, what about your receivers? So my top ten receivers, my first four are the same as Sam's, Brown, Jones, Beckham Jr., and Evans. Then I, we kind of disagreed on the fifth one. I don't one. know why he has Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson's my number five receiver. Comeback player of the year, he's going to be, he's back to being Aaron Rodgers' favorite target. That year, la the last season, last season is, was used to, you know, kind of get himself back into the game, obviously after the ACL injury two years ago. Jordy Nelson, my top, my five, fifth receiver. We both have Cooper at six. Um, I have T.Y. Hilton at seven. DeAndre Hopkins at eight. And then my man, Corey Davis overrated at nine. Him. He's not overrated. In my opinion, you're he's overrated. Underrated. He is underrated. He's not power five school. He was drafted what fifth overall. Yeah. Great, great okay. talent. What was the number Green ten guy? 10. Which I disagree. Why is AJ Green, Green at number ten? I don't know. He's not. He ha he has some injury issues. They're yeah. Slight injuries, but they're not yeah. heavy, but still, he has injury issues. Okay, uh, we're going to go through our running backs real quick. Number, We both have David Johnson at number one. I have Zeke at two, Le'Veon Bell at three. We both have Bell at three. And Freeman at four. We have McCoy, I have McCoy at five. Uh, Jordan Howard at six. Melvin Gordon at seven. DeMarco Murray at eight. Lamar Miller at nine. And Jay Ajayi at ten. What are yours? All right, uh, I ha we have the same one and three, as you said. McCoy at two, or no, my, my bad, Freeman at oh, two, right. Devontae so Freeman, Sean McCoy at four, Melvin Gordon five, Murray six, Jay Ajayi seven, Lamar Miller eight. Now this might surprise you guys a little bit. Why is Zeke nine? My ninth running back is Ezekiel Elliott. Sophomore slump, remember that. Okay. Jordan, Jordan Howard at 10. Okay, now we will be accepting callers, so anyone want to call? 312-723-9858 is the number. And we're getting a caller from Northbrook, Illinois. Hello? Hello. Uh, what do you want to talk about? So, Steelers wide receiver, Jordan Howard, 
receiver for Kevin Bryant was suspended last year. How do you think he'll bounce back this year? Um, I think Bryant will have a good year this year. Obviously, he's still going to be, you know, uh, they'll think that. Antonio Brown will still be uh, into uh, Roethlisberger's favorite target. But I think uh, Martavius Bryant will have a good year this year. And if he doesn't get injured, he could emerge as one of the top 20 wide receivers in the NFL today. I agree. I think kind of like with Jordy Nelson, it's a comeback year for him. Um, you know, he's got to, you know, he's not, he maybe won't have the production uh, Jordy Nelson had last year, Jordy Nelson getting over a 1,000 yards. But Brian will just use this year, I think, to get himself back into the league and then next season emerge as a top 20 wide receiver. So that is our show. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.